Good morning. I keep got out of the hurry for watching to see the light of another new day. In the name of our God, be praised. I thank God for another opportunity to come for prayers this morning. We thank God for a new week. We thank God for His protection in the past week. It has been the Lord's goodness. We thank God for the weekend. We thank God we are in a new month. Last week we were in the month of June. Today, this week, we are in the month of July. We return all the glory back to God. May God accept our praises and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, before we proceed in the morning prayers, let's do our opening prayer. Father, most high God, I thank you. Thank you for a time like this. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your goodness. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus, for being the only one God, only wise God. We are exalted. Father, we appreciate you. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, we come before you again this morning. Father, use the blood of Jesus to wash our sins away. Father, we are here to pray. We don't even know how to pray. Father, we invite the Holy Spirit to teach us. Oh Lord, please direct us. Please let us pray arise. This is a long week. We have not even used it before. We need your guidance. And prayers leads. We want to pray concerning the week. We want to pray the right prayers. We want you to direct us so as to pray the rightful prayers that will destroy the works of Satan. The rightful prayers that will bring God's blessings into our lives. And at the end of the week, we'll be able to come back and glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, for our prayers. Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. So we are starting with our singing. From our already written song. You say, I'm singing this song a lot. Yes. Because that's what God puts on my mind to sing. Because God is giving us everything. The song is talking about God's blessings, God's being a giver to us. So, that's why I'm singing it every time. Oh, Lord of heaven and head and sea. To be all praise and glory be. How shall we show our love to thee? Mm, still up. O Lord of heaven and head and sea, to be all praise and glory be. How shall we show our love to the giver of all, giver of all, giver of all? We lose what on ourselves we spend, we have a treasure without end. Whatever, Lord, to thee we lend, who givest all, who givest all, who givest all, whatever, Lord, we lend to thee, repaid a thousandfold will be. Then gladly will we give to thee, giver of all, giver of all, giver of all. To thee from whom 
We all derive our life, our gifts, our power to give. Oh, may we ever with thee live. Give our of all, give our of all, give our of all. Amen. So that's where we are going to first of all start our singing, I mean, our praises from. We're going to thank God for being the giver of all to us. Let's remember all that the Lord has done. As song says, we shall sing the Ebenezer. It is just by our God's grace. Remember what God has done. Give thanks unto his name. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. It is just by our God's grace. Remember what God has done. Give thanks unto his name. It is by our God's grace. The Lord has brought us this far. Ah, as, as terrible the month of June was, or how do I put it, as fearful it was, the Lord protected us. We are alive. We are able to see another new day. To the glory of God's name, we thank God. We appreciate God. This morning again is a new week. We are here. We need to thank God for another new week. For last week, how God protected us. Um, your verses, anybody no? Are you me? We want to thank God that He protected us throughout last week from all dangers. Who says that there are no dangers in the last week? <laughs> it's because God has not allowed the dangers to befall us. That's why we we didn't see it. We didn't experience it. For me, the Lord has been good to me. During this weekend or this last week, I was falling sick. Look at me again this morning. I'm awake, I'm, I'm healed and healthy. Some things we put in our mouth that would have damaged our body, but the Lord used it to heal us. Ah, the Lord's name be praised. May God accept our praises and thanks. If if you can think like me too, let's both think together and let's appreciate God together. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I return all the glory to you. Oh, for being the giver of all to me. All that I have and whom it is by your grace. You are the one that has done it. Oh, Father, I'm grateful. Blessed be thy holy name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for another day in your presence. Thank you. Lord, for another week in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for another time in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for good health. Thank you for provision. We are not, we, we, we didn't have any casualty. We do for evil. Thank you. We prayed to you last week that you should protect us and guide us from all dangers. We did it. We prayed that you should bless us. You did it. We prayed so much about everything we wanted and you did it. Father, we are grateful. Oh, may your name be praised forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus, for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you, Lord, for everything we have been praying on this line. You have been doing it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, O oh Lord. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you for not allowing the wishes of the enemies to come to pass in our life. Thank you, Lord, for evil dreams that you have canceled. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, eternal Rock of Ages. Thank you, Lord, for lifting. Thank you, Lord, for being the giver of all. Oh, there's nobody that can fully boast that he or she is the one that has made us great or taken us to where we are. It is you, O Lord, that has done it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for using different people at different times for our greatness, for my greatness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are keep you keep taking us higher and higher to the glory of your name. 
Father, I return all the glory back to you. There is nobody, O oh Lord, who could have done this. There is no one, O oh Lord, who has done this in our lives. It is only you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Savior. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Most High God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer, we want to confess our sins. The Bible says if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Sometimes we might even think we are doing the right thing, but to God, we have sinned. So we want to pray this morning, Father, every sin I've committed, Father, use your blood to wash my sins away. Father, cleanse my heart with the blood of Jesus. Have mercy on me. I want to come before you, I want to pray, and I want to receive. Every sin that will not allow me to receive the blessing of God, Father, use the blood of Jesus to wash them away. We are going to pray. Then, after we pray for the power of God to come on our prayers this morning, and we want the answers to go speedily. We want to pray our light. We don't want to pray our means. We need the spirit of discernment to pray the rightful prayers. We need the power of God to know what to pray about. We we are, we don't know what to pray about. We don't even know how to pray. The Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord is the one that helps, that takes our request to God in prayers. In groanings, we cannot express. So we need that Spirit of God. We want to pray the right for prayer. We want God to direct us. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I pray this morning. Father, use your blood to wash my sins away. Almighty Father, please cleanse my heart. Forgive my sins, O oh Lord. Jesus Christ, cleanse my heart. Jesus Christ, wash me with your precious blood. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, cleanse my heart. Jesus, please cleanse my heart. Jesus, please cleanse my heart. Jesus, please wash my soul with the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, please wash my soul with the blood of Jesus. Almighty Father, forgive my sins. Almighty Father, cleanse my heart. Jesus, please cleanse my heart. Jesus, please wash me with your blood. Father, Lord, every sin I've committed, every day I've made somebody angry or sad. Father, use the blood of Jesus to wash my sins away. Oh Lord, please cleanse my heart. Jesus, please cleanse my heart. Father, Lord, I come before you this morning. I want to pray. Father, I pray for the spirit of direction, spirit of discernment, spirit to pray aright and not to pray amiss. Father, let it come upon me. Father, come and teach us how to pray. Father, teach us how to pray. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Fill us with the spirit. We pray that the spirit of God will direct our prayer this morning. Lord, the power of God will come upon our prayers to destroy every plan of the enemies. We put to flight every power that is not of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We take our, our request straight to the throne of mercy and the answers come down speedily in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that prayer. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. We thank God for another new week. So, we have not used this week before, but so we, we want the power of God to go before us in this week. So there are two passages that God has placed on my mind to, to use for this prayer. Psalm 24 and Psalm... Is it number 14 like that? Psalm 114. Yes, Psalm 114. So let's start with this 24. The head is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek their faith, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, holy gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob formed a people of strange language. Judah was a sanctuary, and Israel is dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like ramps, and the little hills like lamps. 
What hailed thee, O thou sin, that thou fledest, thou Jordan, that thou was driven back? Ye mountains that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs, tremble thou head at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Amen. So, these two passages that are talking about everything that has stood on our way, or that is standing, or anything that the enemy has placed in the way of this week against our life, they should begin to flee. The first one said, lift up your heads, O you kids. Those are the gates that must open on their own accord for us this week. Those gates that have been long time locked, this week they are fleeing open in the name of Jesus. Then the second one was talking about how Jordan was driven back before the children of God, the children of Israel, how the sea fled. So that is to say that everything like sea before us this week, they should flee. Everything like Jordan before us back. Every ancient door that has been raised against our life this week, they should be removed on their own accord. They should be raised and be lifted up in the name of Jesus. No evil should befall us in all our ways. The Lord should protect us from all dangers. He should grant us all that we have been asking for. Every door that the enemy has closed. Maybe those that are praying to God for a good job. The door of a good job that, that the enemy has raised. That the enemy has placed a door against for a while. The Lord should remove it. They should be removed at the command of the Lord this week. In the name of Jesus. No evil should befall us. We should be protected from all dangers. And the blessing of God should come into our lives. Let's pray this one. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come before you. This is another new week to the glory of your name. Every power that wants to come against us this week. Father, let them fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord. Any door, any ancient door that has been raised again, that has been raised against our blessings, that has been raised against our breakthrough, this we call Lord Father, let them be lifted up in the name of Jesus. That Psalm says, Lift your heads, O ye gates. Father, let every evil door that has been placed in front of our, our blessings, let them be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, Father, let them be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, Father, let them be lifted up. <coughs> In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we also pray that every battle or any situation like Jordan, Father, let them be driven back. In the name of Jesus, every situation like the sea before us this week, Father, Lord, before we get there, Father, let them flee like lambs. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let them flee like lambs in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, please protect us from all dangers, protect us from all evils. Oh, Lord, for all that we have been asking God for that, that, that has become so difficult to receive. Father, this week we want to receive them with his in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, and let your enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Father, come and take control. Oh, Lord, come and have your way. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, lift, let every door be lifted up before us this week. In the name of Jesus, you said in that Isaiah 45, you said we make kings to open doors before us. Father, this week, let every doors be opened in the name of Jesus. Let every good doors be opened. Let doors of favor be opened. Let doors of, of blessings be opened. Let doors of mercy be open. Let doors of grace be open. Let every doors be open. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This week, and we, want, we also want to pray. Every cause from the dream, every cause of backwardness, every evil dream of backwardness, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Every dream that interprets into backwardness, we cancel it. It will not prosper. It will not stand. In the name of Jesus. Then we also pray. Every cause on the work of our hands. Father, use the blood of Jesus to wash them away. I wash my hands with the blood of Jesus. Anything I lay my hands upon this week shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I have sung to you that you are the giver of all. In that our hymn, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, 
we pray that every cut and I want to 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 turn what you have given us to give our daily bread and to do great things in life. Anything I want to turn it into cost or that have caused it. Father, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ should wipe off such causes in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty Father, I come before you this morning. Every cause that has been placed on the work of my hands, Father, use the blood of Jesus to wipe them away. Use the blood of Jesus to wash them away. Father, Lord, I refuse any cause on the work of my hands in Jesus' name. I cover my works, the works you have given unto me to prosper. I cover it with the blood of Jesus. Any cause on the works of my hands, be cancelled. Be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, be cancelled. By the blood of Jesus, be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, be cancelled. Father, use the blood to wipe off any causes upon my work. Upon my work in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray this week I will prosper. This week, oh Lord, I will prosper. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Cover my, the works of my hands in Jesus' name. I will not go into depth in the name of Jesus. I will not go into problems in the name of Jesus. I will not go into to implications in the name of Jesus. I soak the works of my hands, the blood of Jesus. Every cause placed on the works of my hands be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Wherever I will go, I will be highly favored. Anyone I meet, I will be highly favored in the name of Jesus. Every cause of being accused for bad, for accused wrongly, I use the blood of Jesus to wipe them away. The blood of Jesus counsel it. The blood of Jesus counsel it in the name of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Father, I wash my hands with the blood of Jesus. I wash my head with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. What you have used as a source of blessing for me will not turn to source of sorrow in the name of Jesus. It will not turn to source of cause for me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer we want to pray. We want to pray for God's protection this week. We want God to go before us. Ah, the Lord should go before us this week and protect us. He said, Fire goes before the Lord and consumes his enemies round about. We want the fire all of God to go before us this week and to consume all the enemies of God. Every enemy, every, all of our enemies are the enemies of God. We want the fire of God to go before us and destroy these enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want God to protect us from all danger. We want God to protect us from all evils. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord should guide our coming in, our going out. We don't want to fall into problems. We don't want to fall into evil. We don't want to fall into error. In the mighty name of Jesus. We don't want to fall into error, we don't want to fall into problem. Whatever the enemy has turned her head and say, Oh, at this point you are going to be put to shame. We want God to go before us before we get there. And the Lord should cancel every shame and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, go before us, protect us, we will not be put to shame, we will not be implicated. We anywhere that the devil has placed problems, we want the power of God to get there before us and destroy all this shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. We will not be put to shame. We will not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I have placed the Lord before me, and I know I will not be put to shame. I know I will not be ashamed. Ha! We don't want to be ashamed. We don't want to be put to shame. Anything the enemy thought will put us to shame, let it turn to glory for us in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall arise in his power and turn it into blessings for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, Lord, I pray that this week you protect us. Father, you protect me this week. You protect my family this week. You protect every of the children of God this week. You protect us from all evils and all dangers. In the name of Jesus, no evil will befall us. We will not record any casualty. In the name of Jesus, no accident. No accident of the road, no accident of any means of transportation in the name of Jesus, no accident even in the house, no accident of fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy has turned ahead and said we will be put to shame, in the name of Jesus we will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus I will not be put to shame. Father, I pray that the power of God will go before me this week and cancel every shame and every disgrace 
in the name of Jesus. Father, go ahead before me this week. Cancel every shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. All will protect me from all dangers. Wherever the enemy has put his snares, I will not walk into it in the name of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I sanctify myself with the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, cancel every shame and disgrace. Father, cancel every shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, cancel every shame, cancel every disgrace in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, cancel every shame and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus. Protect me from all dangers. Protect my family from all dangers. Father, Lord, I pray before we get there, wherever the enemy has placed any evil, Father, the blood of Jesus, the fire of God, go there before us and destroy all the plans of the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, let the fire of God destroy every plan of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God go ahead of us and destroy every plan of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the provision of God. We pray for the power of God. We pray for the protection of God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we want to pray for the blessings of God, the provision of God, divine provision. There are some provisions that will be like, ah, I was expecting this money. And there are the ones that are divinely orchestrated that without you thinking about it. I have experienced it before. I want to experience it again. So I want us to pray that Lord this week give me divine provision. What we have not even expecting that is divinely orchestrated. Divine, when we call, talk about divine, divine provision, like when the Israelites were in the, in the wilderness, they were feeding on manna from heaven. That is divine provision. Lord, I want a divine provision this week. Not even once, not twice, as many as possible. This week, Father Lord, grant me divine provision. Father Lord, provision that I'm not even expecting, that I, people from people that should we least expect from. Father Lord, let there be divine provision this week in Jesus' name. Father Lord, before I'm put to shame because of money, Father Lord, please stand in for me. Father, if God can make the fish that Peter caught to have money, there is nothing God cannot do. So this week we are praying, Father Lord, let there be divine provision in my life. Father, I want to be highly blessed, divinely blessed. Father, come and bless me this week in Jesus' name. Father Lord, for everything I'm going to do this week, Father, let it prosper. Father Lord, remove any problem from anything I will do. Father Lord, let it turn to blessings for me. Don't let it turn into cause or evil. Destroy every plan of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I will not run into trouble. The plan of the enemy to turn the works of my hands to trouble, Father, let it cancel. The plan of the enemy to turn the source of my joy to trouble or to sorrow for me, let it be cancelled by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, I will not be put to shame. I will not run into trouble. Remove every cause from my business. Remove every cause on, on my life. Remove every cause on my moving forward in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I pray right now. Oh, I pray for divine provision this week. Father, I protect myself with the blood of Jesus. Father, I protect the works of my hands with the blood of Jesus. Any power that says the works of my hands will turn to sorrow for me, be scattered by fire, be destroyed by fire. The works of my hands will not turn to sorrow for me in the name of Jesus. It will not turn to sorrow for me in the name of Jesus. It will not turn to sorrow for me in the name of Jesus. I will not be put to shame. I will not be disgraced. I will not be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I rise in your power. I will not run. I will not go backwards in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that you have done for me will not be taken away from me in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, and I also pray those things, Lord, that you have done in my life, they will not be destroyed, they will not be cancelled in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood 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 of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for the power of God to move forward in the name of Jesus. I pray for the power of God, divine provision that will move my life forward. I pray for it in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood 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 of Jesus. Father, arise in your power and go before me this week and let there be blessings, let there be protection, let there be guidance in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for answer prayer. Father, Lord, send your blessings into my life this week. Thank you for answer prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Then again, we want to pray. Father, we want to live for you this week. 
don't want this week to be the week that we start blaspheming against God. We don't want to even blaspheme against God. So that's why we are praying that God, please go before me this week. Let me live according to your principles. Let me live to please you. Let my life, my words, my thoughts, let it be pleasing unto you. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, Lord, I pray this week. Father, Lord, I want to live for you. I want to be pleasing to thee. Let my words be pleasing to thee. Let my deeds be pleasing to thee. Father, Lord, those things you don't want me to say. Help me not to say them. Places you don't want me to go. Help me not to go there. Father, Lord, help me that my words, my deeds, my thoughts will be pleasing to you. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father, Lord, we also pray that for everything we have been looking unto you for this week, Father, grant them unto us all the blessings of this week, Father, we receive them in Jesus' name. Jesus' name we have prayed, amen. Uh, we are ending the prayer now. Let's round up. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you, Lord, because we have prayed our right and not our miss. So we're going into the week. We sanctify the week with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for our prayers. Jesus' name we have prayed, amen. Thank you. Have a great week ahead. Bye.